Hi everyone, Aiden here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Swagman Pickup Bed Mount and Bike Rack on our 2022 Ram 1500. So this is going to be a bar that goes between the bed rails of your truck and holds in place through friction. You can see as I pull up on it, it's staying in there nice and secure and it gets a good hold on the bikes too. This is going to be a fork mounted bike rack, which means we remove the front wheel on our bike and hold it by the forks here using the included quick release skewer. With that, it is going to get a really nice solid hold on the bike. But with this, you can also notice it's taking up space inside the bed. Compared to some other options out there, like a tailgate pad, for example, that's gonna flip the bike around, have the front tire hanging over the tailgate with the rest of the bike back in the bed here. Both take up bedroom, but with the tailgate pad, I tend to find that it takes up a little bit less bedroom. So if that's something you are concerned about, maybe check out a tailgate pad. The good thing with those, you can also carry more bikes typically. This one has a capacity of two bikes with the option to add a third down the line. If you do, just keep in mind that it does have an 80 pound weight capacity and that's total. So that's between all the bikes that you're adding in. With this, it does lock up. We've got our lock core in the middle. I'll remove the bike here first so we can get a better look at that. And I'll just set it to the side for right now. But with this, it does lock. We've got our button right there to lock it up. And then if we want to remove this, we can press this in and pull up to release it. So everything is set by expanding this arm on the side, pressing in on the gray button, and moving the arm in or out, depending on where we want to set it. So when you do that, it's a little bit tricky keeping this middle part open, but I found that you can kind of hold it up with one side, push it out on the other, and then just push it down in place to lock it out and keep that friction nice and tight. Pushing in that lock core there, keeps it so it's nice and secure and you can't activate that button and fold it up. The keys it comes with are going to be a pretty good quality. This type of lock core is more difficult to pick. Not pick proof, but it will help with security. And this part over here where we can expand the arm can be locked up with a padlock. For me personally, if I were looking at a bike rack for my truck, I would go for a hitch mounted option just because I like having the bed open and I don't want to have to obstruct it with any sort of things like this. Plus, this won't play very well with a tonneau cover. With that in mind though, that might not always be an option if you've got a camper or a trailer, which is why I recommend a tailgate pad in that case, because tailgate pads can play well with tonneau covers and toolboxes, and you don't have to take up space in the hitch. Either way you go though, they're gonna be a pretty solid option for your Ram here. Thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage or driving in and out of a driveway. Here it is on our test course. First is the slalom area, which simulates side-to-side -side action, like turning the corners or invasive maneuvers. 
Next are the alternate speed bumps, which show you the twisting action like hitting a pothole, road debris, or hitting a curb. Finally, we are at the solid speed bumps, which show you up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out your driveway. Here you see it out on our test course. First is the slalom, which shows the side-to-side -side action to simulate turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternating speed bumps, which show you the twisting action such as hitting a pothole, road debris, or going over a curb. Finally, we will finish with the solid speed bumps which show the up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out of a driveway. Here it is on our test course. First is a slalom area which simulates side to side action like turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternating speed bumps, which show you the twisting action like hitting a pothole, road debris, or hitting a curb. Finally, we are at the solid speed bumps, which show the up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out of the driveway.